So GM has partnered with China's SAIC Motors to form a joint venture called Wuling Motors, and they're going to be producing their first all-electric car, which they said was inspired by Japanese K cars, which are compact cars that are still highway capable. Mm. Uh, so check out the stats for this one. Jess. Okay, cool. This is wow, you're going to be impressed. 140 kilowatt hours. No, no, no. You added a zero. It's 14 kilowatt hour battery. 14. 14. 14. I didn't. I don't think we've ever seen a battery that small unless it's been like a a power wall. Yeah, it's like they slapped a power wall on there. Uh, it's got 27 horsepower. No. <laughs> yeah. No, it doesn't. Yeah. It, it can't. Well, why can't it? It's How can it be highway capable at 27 horsepower? Well, I think they were inspired by a highway capable car. I can't imagine that that car is highway capable. I'm pretty sure that that puts maybe the, it. Maybe the highway is going downhill. I'm, I'm pretty sure there are lawnmowers with more horsepower than this I, car. There are. Now, we heard from Reuters early last week that GM and Ford were planning on pumping out 5 million SUVs and pickup trucks in 2026, but only 320,000 EVs in North America. So I want to stop there because for the longest time, we had been hearing from GM during their EV day and from Ford. Right. It was a they're, million. They're all in on EVs, right? It was, was going to be a million EVs by 2025. And I was assuming that was for the year. Right. So I think they might still be thinking that. And I think that this is their plan to do it. I think this car you're seeing here and the one we're going to talk about in a second, I think China is their big. No, wait a minute. <laughs> That's not a car. Well, that is I... not a car. It's stop. Stop. When you say car, I think four people can sit in it. Four people can sit in the car. And it's safe. And you can uh, drive on the highway with it. Like it's a car. I mean, like everyone knows what a car is. Maybe this is not a car. It's I'm not saying it's bad. I'm not saying that we shouldn't have things that are like this, but let's not call them, let's not lump them all in with cars. Let's maybe make its own special category, put them on their own special little roads uh, in cities. Let's call them, you know, uh, city cars. Let's call them city vehicles. Let's call them mobility enhancement devices. Let's okay. not lump them in with cars. Well, I, and I, you have a good point there, which is that even if this is a car, the the fact that they're going to have to be partnering with another company, so the margins have to be very low, means that in terms of a company and profits, we're not looking at a lot of revenue from these. I'm just, I'm just saying. So it's like you're going to a party and your and your buddy Fred was like, "Yo, guys, there's going to be like a hundred people at my party, but don't worry, okay? I'm going to bring like twenty five pizzas to the party." And you're like, "Okay, well, that's." That's roughly enough. I think that that will maybe just skate by for 100 people at the party, 25 pizzas. And then he shows up with personal pizzas. And you're like, Fred, what? The? No, this isn't going to work. He's like, no, man, it's 25 pizzas. It's going to be fine. And you're like, these are these pizzas are six inches across. Like, do you not understand? They're not cars. Okay. When they said cars, I was expecting maybe even like. 150 miles of range. I was not expecting it to be this. No, and I think that's why on EV Day, you didn't hear anything about this because the million cars they're talking about is largely going to be in the Chinese market, which is fine. It's a big car market. But back here in the US, they're going to be pumping out um, millions of gas guzzling SUVs and pickup trucks in a few years. And I think this is kind of weird. I think what they're doing is they're going to go to China and make all these cars for the next five or 10 years. It makes sense. Like, I, it, no, I, it makes sense to do this in China. I'm I'm not dinging GM for doing this in China. Makes sense. Good business practice. But to come well, out I, and say. I don't think it's a good business practice because uh, when they're done five or 10 years in China, think of how many cars Tesla will have been making all around the world. And so when they're not going to just come back over here and be like, okay, we're ready to start making EVs. First of all, they haven't been learning how to make great, com compelling EVs. Right. And secondly, Tesla would have eaten their lunch by then. And I mean, right. don't believe us. Head over to Galley over at HyperChange. He made a great video called Are GM and Ford Going Bankrupt, where he lays out the financials for both companies and why they're already on very shaky ground. Mm, I just can't get it. It's not a car. Well, how about this one then? In January, GM announced a similar compact EV under their partnership with SAIC. Mm -hmm. This is the Baojun E200, and that is a 39 horsepower car. Um, but I know you like the more powerful. So here's the E300, which is 54 horsepower, two-door, four-seater, and uh, it will go on sale in China this summer. So 54 horsepower. I mean, that I is... just doubled... The horsepower and in the other car. And it's still half of what my 2013 Nissan Leaf has. And I'm not not to say that's a slow car, um, but it's not the most 
invigorating. Okay, but this is for the Chinese market where you got these dense urban environments where you need to find parking and you're not going that far every day. So I like this kind of concept of this kind of vehicle for a dense city environment, right? That makes a lot of sense. I've been saying this before. However, to be like, we're going to make a million cars and then it's like if they made a, a million matchbox cars and we're like, see, here's the million. Uh, they're, they're electric. There's zero emissions. Look they at, might. Yeah. <laughs> they <laughs> might. They're like, oh, see, look, it's uh, zero emissions. So you don't you don't use any emissions here. But we got a million of these. That's what we said we were going to do. This so might be part of their plan. You invest know. in our company. It's like, no, <laughs> I'm not impressed. How smart is China to get uh, American companies to come over and invest in factories making cars that they need? clean cars. Right. It's not like it's not like there's anything GM about these vehicles. Yeah, I agree with you. I think the GM and Ford are in trouble. We've been saying this for a long time. And this is just another misstep that I think is going to bring them to uh, bankruptcy quicker. 29 horsepower. Thanks so much for watching this Now You Know clip. Head over to Now You Know channel for full episodes of Tesla Time News and In Depth. And if you want to treat yourself and your family to something amazing, check this out. Jesse and I have been enjoying Masterclass, where we've been learning all sorts of fun topics from the masters themselves. Comedy from Judd Apatow. Screenwriting from Aaron Sorkin. Investigative journalism from Bob Woodward. Tennis from Serena Williams. And so many more. Click the link down below to support our channel and experience what it's like to learn from the masters at Masterclass.